George and I got into Imran last night uh, after a cycle, 30 kilometer cycle from Christian side in the dark and didn't manage to get any footage of that because we were kind of stressed about getting the bikes together. So we assembled our bikes in the park in Christianstad, which is the next town over, and then we pedaled our way over here. Uh, George had the uh, the bag that I used to transport the bike from Finland to here on his back. So couldn't have done it without him. But uh, we are gonna chill out today and kind of get our kit together, figure out where things go on the bike, what I have, what he has. Um, if we're doubling up on any kit and things like that and we're also kind of from cycling yesterday realized that a couple of things need to be tuned up on the bikes the gears are like are the the chain and the the gears are not quite aligned in some some gears i think we're gonna maybe get some lunch together and cook on the campfire around the back there so yeah but looking forward to it a week of traveling around skona and getting on the bikes and and, and uh just enjoying a bit of nature so welcome along with us Just a feel good luck, like, healthy wise. Green, green is good, as they say. This, this video has been hard to doc, to narrate because I'm not used to filming with someone else. Mm. Um, it, it's, for me, it's not about like uh, making loads of distance or getting to a certain place at a certain time. It's about being able to get into nature yeah. and actually find the spots that you can spend time in and you can just like enjoy being out there without being thinking about how many miles do I have to do tomorrow to make up for or about the speed and, and stuff. And <clears throat> Yeah, and I think it's been interesting to add a bit more extra weight to the bot to the bikes than maybe mm. they thought. Like we're definitely testing them for what they're yeah what they're made for anyway. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, this is such a perfect place to do it because we have Alamanzaten here, which is right to Rome. Everybody has freedom to camp wherever they want, even if it's private land, as long as it's not next to a house. And it's 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 the perfect place to do it. Like you yeah, know? I'm surprised there's not more people on bikes here. Actually, mm. yeah, yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, because you have a lot of like canoers and kayakers and even like um, people in camper vans and things, but I haven't seen too many like bike packers. Yeah, I think we're probably the only ones so far, are we? Yeah, I've, that's the only ones I've seen anyway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Healthy oh. arse. Good actually. It's not getting too much. No. Uh huh?
Cheers. Go for it. <laughs> oh, dodgy sound coming off that one. I'm going to hit Oh. Mm. That's a textbook for it. Yeah, it looks good. It's like if you ask someone to draw a fire, that's what you get. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> draw me a fire. Okay. Draw me a campfire. Yeah. George and I opted to use the canoe centre as a base camp spending a day or two on the trails before heading back to recharge our batteries and consolidate our kit. Our bike bags had a pretty lightweight setup, but with the store close by, we could restock our food and decide what we wanted to cook that night, rather than carrying a week's worth of food with us. We got some swimming in too, taking advantage of the warm, fresh waters of Lake Imel in August. And of course, plenty of cycling. More than 70% of Sweden's land is covered in forests. Thousands of miles of forests and trails just waiting to be explored all of which is freely accessible to anyone thanks to Allemansrätten, Sweden's freedom to roam laws which came into effect in 1994 and are such an integral part of people's relationship to nature here. Sauce, but imagine fucking Vikings or whatever people in this part of the country in Skåne, where we are. Yeah. It's traditionally a Viking area. They would have eaten chanterelles and hunted, you know, deer, boar, or whatever. And that's probably the way they would have cooked it, like yeah. just on coals, chanterelles, probably potatoes as well. Yeah. Viking meal. Living the dream here. <laughs> So it's um, <coughs> what day? Wednesday, uh, day four. How long are we here now, George? We're here since Sunday, so day yeah, day four essentially. We've been getting lots of nice cycling in and seeing the area, <coughs> getting some nice food eaten and some campfires, and quite a bit of cycling during the day. But we thought today we'd change up the pace and uh, take some canoes out on the lake. So we're on our way to the shop now to buy the ingredients for our, our dinner tonight. So I think tonight um, we're going to make some hot dogs on the fire. Mm -hmm. Right? Sausage, we got some traditional Swedish classic. Grillkorv. Grillkorv, okay. Rustle up a few of these boys with some nice mustard. 
Johnny this, Sienna. I think this is going to be quite nice. This is one I prepared earlier. No, this, <laughs> is, this is one we're preparing later. Um, and yeah, this should be good. I think that'll be quite an experiment. Absolutely. Let's see how we get on. canoeing and you're basically making a J shape in the water and it corrects you and keeps you straight so if I was just paddling like this eventually I'm gonna go to the left here but when you turn your wrist down put your paddle out like this it corrects your trajectory I suppose you could call it without slowing you down too much it's a good stroke to learn if you want to do some solo canoe. Heather and pine needle tea. It's good. You like it? I like it. Kind of has an earthy, soft kind of. Mm.
Just having this opportunity to do this and meet up and have an excuse to get outside and kind of put ourselves in that position just lets you lets you take a bit of time to yourself and think about things and mull over things and um, slow down the pace of life, you know? Mm. Actually, that was something that I thought was really nice about being in Sweden as well because people here, the pace of life is kind of slower. When I moved here a couple of years ago, I was living in this exact place and mm. After being a designer in Dublin and the pace was so fast and then coming here, I that was the first thing that struck me and then over time then, my life was the same. I started, I found myself walking slower and yeah. just getting things done but not at any sort of immediate pace. Yeah. Anybody can do this, you know what I mean? A couple of nice, you know, capable bikes have been able to pack your stuff on. I mean, we had our Canyon Grizzles with us and you know, thank you Canyon for giving us a lend of those. They were really up to the task. I think they really did the job. Um, so they were fantastic. And also thanks to John and Linda in Inbound Canoe Center who allowed us to kind of have a bit of a base camp yeah, over the week. That was really nice. For sure. Yeah. Highlights. Um, I think when we when we canoed on what was it, Wednesday? Canoed out, set up camp on the island where we're kind of had, our, had the whole place to ourselves, even like today, you know, it's just like, there's no one around. No, no it's completely, it's wilderness, you know? Yeah, and so it was really cool to kind of catch up again and kind of, kind of uh, see what we've been up to over the last, because we haven't seen each other in what, yeah. maybe five years? Five years, Something yeah. Something like that. Catching up and seeing. That's also my highlight as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> now that you said it, that's my highlight. Right, you know? right. Yeah. Actually, I changed my mind. I changed my mind, yeah. Dream is over. No. For now. Well, I don't have a watch. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> a few hours left in the day. Yeah. So, but thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and let us know if there's anything else you'd like us to see us do in the future. Maybe give Canyon a little, uh, a little nudge. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. get yeah. these guys out again. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.